moving day for Ken Balcom. All right. Another load being dropped off at the Big Salmon Ranch outside Port Angeles, property bought by his nonprofit Center for Whale Research. But this place is not a vacation home. We bought it for the whales. We bought it for J-Pod. As far as I'm concerned, when I move on, it's theirs. Bought for the whales and bought for the riverfront. They want to protect this section of the Elwha River and the orca feeding salmon that spawn here. This river is miles and miles and miles from coast to headwaters. Can yeah. a project like this, protecting a segment, make an impact? Uh, well, we certainly expect it to make an impact. Food supply is a serious threat to the southern residents. We know dwindling salmon populations are limiting whale reproduction. Combine that with pollutants in Puget Sound and vessel noise, and it is not an easy time to be an orca. The Center for Whale Research has been keeping account of these whales since the 70s and documenting the steady decline since the 90s. But there have been some recent bright spots. J35 gave birth to a calf in September of 2020, followed by another calf born to J41 later that month. And earlier this month, L86 Surprise welcomed a new calf, bringing the total number of southern residents in the wild to 75. But now two years after the completion of the governor's task force study on saving these whales... The last salmon that I saw was right down here. There were two of them, actually. Malcolm is still frustrated. We're not on the right trajectory, and we won't get there for another 10 or 20 years, even if nobody dies, even if... We do everything we can. What has to be is a food supply available to them year round, wherever they're traveling. I took that to the Puget Sound Partnership, a state agency that served on the steering committee of the Southern Resident Task Force. Right now, are we doing enough as a state to save the Southern residents? I don't think so. I think we are making a really good effort. You know, this state has a lot to be proud of. We have a governor that is leading us. Uh, we have state agencies that are focused on this. We have the nonprofit community, the tribes um, and others, uh, the private sector, the boating community. We have lots and lots of people working really, really hard. We still have a long way to go. PSP does point to recent success removing dams on the Pilchuck and Middle Fork Nooksack Rivers. Though the elephant in the room, new calls to remove dams on the Snake River and restore the salmon runs there. You see all these rocks out here. That is what Ken would like to see. Well, the smaller ones, when you find a little eddies, and they're just perfect for salmon to lay their eggs. He hopes this project on the Elwha will help, but says we need to think bigger and bolder to save salmon and make sure this generation of our iconic southern residents is not the last. I feel privileged and honored that the whales have chosen me to be their agent on this purchase. I, I love the whales. They're, I feel like I'm one of them. Right now, the real estate laws won't let them buy it, but it'll let a nonprofit on their behalf. Michael Crow, King 5 News.